and welcome to the podcast series, Profit with Purpose. I'm your host, Alyssa Huang. Today's topic is the business dilemma, where we will be discussing some human tendency and how this leads to businesses being too concerned with short-term goals such as profit and bottom lines, as well as how this focus can hinder their ability to invest in long-term sustainable goals. This podcast is being brought to you on the Blue Panther Media Network, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's start by reflecting on our daily routines. Think about your commute to work or your journey to campus this morning. How about yesterday? Chances are you probably took the same route and followed the same pattern without even realizing it. This is the first human behavior. Our brains are wired to find comfort and familiarity, and this is known as the status quo bias. We all have a strong tendency to remain at status quo, and this may limit our willingness to explore new opportunities. And this leads to the second tendency, resistance to change. When TV first came out in the early 20th century, it was groundbreaking, but radio and cinema may be more appealing to people, so they didn't see a need to invest in the television set which is why some people still believe that people would be tired of staring at a box and it wouldn't last. However, it experienced exponential growth and reached almost a billion units in the late 90s. History has taught us that people's reluctance to explore and change may make them skeptical about the value and impact of the thing on their lives. And however, it is often through embracing changes, challenging the status quo, and finding creative solutions that lead to growth and progress. We probably all use Spotify now. In the early 2000s, album stores were rapidly declining due to illegal selling. The industry was stuck in the status quo and struggling to adapt to the changing landscape. And only a few forward-thinking people recognized the potential of digital technology. And one of them was, of course, the founder of Spotify. This led to the growth and transformation of the music industry with different successful digital streaming platforms. Lastly, humans prefer visible changes that create short-term influences rather than long-term goals that require incremental progress. For example, when it comes to seeking physical health and achieving weight loss, people are often drawn to short-term visible quick changes such as losing a significant amount of weight in a short period. This may include skipping meals or having an imbalanced diet. However, this leads to neglecting the long-term goal of health management that requires consistent effort and incremental progress. But because its progress may not be as visible in the short term, people may prefer to prioritize the short-term easy option. So, Firms are all run by humans, which means all these situations apply to businesses. In this economy, every firm wants to maximize their profit, and this is the status quo and also their short-term goal. Therefore, their vision focuses on policies and work that can be done to increase profit. Yet, in recent years, companies have begun to recognize the importance of social impact with the establishment of the ESG goals, short for environmental, social, and governance. This is a metric to encourage companies to act responsibly. Some visionary companies started to establish policies and allocate fundings for sustainable goals, but many are unwilling to invest in long-term goals that may not have immediate payoff. Some attempt to change, but also hesitate after experiencing a change in their short-term performances. So this fear of the unknown and fear of the loss of status hold people back. 
and it not only harms society but also risks their own long-term viability because once you miss the short-term progress goals, it is hard to catch up in the long term. Um, therefore, it is critical to find a dynamic balance and know how to allocate time, effort, and resources to both short-term and long-term goals. Without short-term success, the business may not survive to the long-term. Yet, without long-term goals to slowly make progress, the business has a disadvantage and can't push for changes. So this comes down to individuals to find a balance between the two and execute simultaneously. So that's all for today's episode of The Business Dilemma. Join us next time as we delve deep and even deeper into sustainability and business practices. As I mentioned before, every action counts and together we can create a future filled with compassion, equality and lasting impact. Let's pave a path towards profit with purpose. I'm your host, Alyssa Hong. And again, this podcast is being brought to you on the Blue Panther Media Network so please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.